Hello and welcome once again. So I'm going to do a brief video here explaining why I have cut out greens for the past almost three weeks now. It will be three weeks coming up here on Thursday. And I'm not saying that greens are bad for you. And I believe they did their job for me for the past n number of months since... November and even before then and especially when I had not used the oregano oil for several months and added the oregano oil and had an amazing cleanse for two weeks it wasn't pleasant but that oregano oil really activated and helped release a lot of stones parasites and other nonsense but I decided that my body had taken enough of that so I decided to cut out the greens and see what happened. So what I did is I upped my berries. I kept the sprouted pumpkin seeds, done the raw sauerkraut once a day, and done a few cashews. And of course the antioxidant powders twice a day. And it's still early to tell, but I have noticed a considerable difference in how I feel, and how my body reacts, and how I'm sleeping. So there's different stages in detoxing and there's times where you need to make a change greens are good for a good five or six months solid if you're going 100 percent raw but when you get to the point where you're detoxing a lot and you're going to the bathroom a number of times and it not to be gross but it's liquid you've you've done that for several weeks it's it's time to cut the greens out you really made some uh, amazing ground and now it's time to move to the next level and and I also know by looking at my face and other things that have really went down after that process so the greens served their purpose so why am I showing you this picture of berries I love berries but these are not the type of berries that you want to eat these berries are disgusting these are artificial. If you want to eat these berries, there's no point to watch my channel. However, if you want to eat these berries, then my channel is for you. And I'm talking about, I've just recently added in the strawberries. I have been doing, of course, the goji berries, the mole berries, the golden berries. You know, all the antioxidant powders, most of them are berries, cranberry, blueberry, maki, um, bilberry, and those berries are very, very important, and those serve their purpose. And I'm doing 12 of the antioxidant powders right now, not the Shizandra, only because the supplier, I wasn't able to get it, and I was very disappointed, but at this point... I'm living with the 12, and I've been doing that for probably the last month and a half, and I'm okay with that. I do like the Shizandra, though, and it does work. It's just it's just hard to get the one I want, and I'd rather not buy it at all if I can't get the quality one. So let's go to these berries. So raspberries, blackberries, and especially blueberries. Fresh, never frozen. Do not buy frozen berries. It's not the same. It's not a living food. When you freeze something, it's not going to come back to life the way it was, the way nature intended. We didn't have freezers in ancient times, folks. Do not freeze your food. If you can't buy fresh berries, then at least start with the goji berries. You might say, well, James, those are dried. Sure, those are sun-dried naturally. But berries heal the body. And throwing in and incorporating a few pumpkin seeds and even some coconut date rolls. Sometimes I'll eat five a day, sometimes I might eat two or three. Today I had a huge portion of strawberries, uh, some extra raspberries, and blueberries, and I just wasn't hungry enough to eat any more coconut date rolls. I had two today. So take this information, learn from it, and be on your way to detoxing your body and becoming disease-free. You will start to feel it. Thank you, and stay tuned for more.